Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, it's a new propeller day for the DJI FPV drone because Master Airscrew has created the Master Airscrew DJI FPV Ludicrous propellers. And they've sent me three colors here. So I have blue, red, and orange. Now you're probably wondering about these props. Hey, should I buy them? Are they any good? Well, I don't know because I haven't tried them yet, but I'm about to go outside and try them. I just want to read what is on the Master Airscrew website. So they say that, hey, faster max flight time, 11% faster. Okay, so that's pretty decent. 13% max ascent speed. So when you're going straight up, you'll go 13% faster. It says a 2% improved efficiency. So that means you should use less battery power and get a little bit more flight time. I don't know if you'll notice 2%. It says when you're flying this, you'll notice better responsiveness and agility. And they say there's an improved sound pitch. We believe that racing should sound like racing. Test the mesmerizing sound of flying at 100 miles per hour. That's just going to scream. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying these. So let me show you what you get in a box. So when you open it, you're going to get a set of stickers, master air screw, a set of safety instructions, and then you get the props and they are all nicely placed together like this. That. Okay, so if I take a prop off my drone and I compare the two, what do I notice? First thing I notice is that the master air screw props are more like a bullnose prop. And if I look at the angle of the prop, well, that one's hard to tell the way I'm looking at. No, I don't know. I can't tell if there's more of an angle. There might be, but it's hard to tell. So let me just weigh them here and see what the difference in weight is. Okay, so the original DJI prop weighs a total of five grams. The new master air screw ludicrous prop weighs a total of seven grams. So from a weight perspective, it tells me that these props are thicker. They have more plastic in them. And yes, I'm trying to bend them. So maybe that's how they chop through the air. Yes, yes. These are very, very flexible. The original DJI props, very flexible. These are very solid. Oh yeah, you cannot bend these at all. Not at all. So that's why, <laughs> that's why they're probably pretty loud and gives you a lot more flight characteristics. Now I should mention as well that the master air screw props are plug and play. That means Means that you don't have to attach anything on your drone you just take your old prop off you take your new prop you just match the motor I'm gonna to try to do this with the front one since it's closest to the camera but my fingers are in the way and then you do your normal press down spin the motor and it's locked in place and it is ready to fly so uh, next thing I'm gonna do is take this outside but I do want to test the speed so I'm gonna to try to put the sky RC GPS module on the drone what i'll probably do is uh yeah props flying everywhere because i never put those on is i'll probably velcro a piece of velcro on the back of a few batteries i'll try a new battery each time i try this and then velcro this right in the rear it's not in the way of anything and uh, it doesn't weigh anything so it shouldn't hamper anything and then we'll see what our total high speed race tests are so let's go outside and try this all right i have the normal dji props on to start for the first flight and i have our gps unit back here and i've put some velcro along the battery so so all I have to do is first power this on so that's not in the way. There we go. Now I'm going to take our GPS unit, Sky RC, and I'm just going to stick it in the back like this and it should attach nicely. Just press that in without powering it off. There we go. It's on. As long as I don't crash, this won't go flying anywhere. <laughs> Please don't crash. Okay, first flight is with the normal DJI props on here. I'm gonna put it in manual mode. It's the only way it's gonna work. Am I in manual mode? Sport mode, normal, manual. There we go. Where's my antenna? Haven't flown manual for a long time. There we go, props going, and let's go straight up in the sky. There we are. Our drone flying. Now there is wind, so I'm whipping down the field here. I'm gonna take it around and whip it back. So in one direction it's with the wind, the other direction it is against the wind. So it's just gonna give me the top speed of what I'm doing. This time I'm gonna do a dive. So let me see, what's the height? I'm gonna take up to 120 meters and dive. There we go, full blast straight at the ground. Whoa, ho, ho. get that over. It's cold out here, guys. My fingers are freezing. <laughs> Let's go, all right. Let's go way up again. I'm up to 120 and another dive. Coming straight down to the ground. There we go. That's gonna give you a super fast speed with these props. And of course you can do up and everything. But I'm gonna do the same with the other set of props from Master, Master Airscrew and see if they're the same. All right, so let's bring it on back to me. Coming back for a landing. 
Bring it over here, someplace over here. And bring it on down. There we go. Okay, so let's take the GPS off. There we go, let's power this off. And I'm gonna put a fresh battery in. All right, same thing as before, let's put some Velcro back here. All right, next thing, let's take these props off the DJI ones, and we're gonna put a set of the master air screw props on. I'm gonna put the blue ones on because I wanna show there's a huge difference in color. So we're gonna go from the gray to the blue. It would be so much better if it wasn't so cold out today. All right, with my frozen hands, I am gonna put these on the drone. All right, there we go. I think I got them on tight. I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so if you're new to Master Air Screw Props, let me show you something really quick. These props are longer than the DJI props, just by a few millimeters. So if you have anything on your DJI FPV drone, like I had these little fins here, I've had to remove them because the props just touch them slightly. So I don't want them in the way. So I've taken them off. Now we take our GPS here. All the lights are on. It's ready and it should stick on the Velcro in the back. There we go. All right, so let's put it in, uh, what do we want to go in? Manual mode, there we are, and uh, tap, tap. There we go, motor starting and way up. All right, here we go. Master air screw props, is this thing gonna keep on going? Is it gonna obliterate itself due to the high speed? Whip it around, coming back. Going pretty fast, against the wind, with the wind, and spin it around. Let's bring it down low. It's windy out today, so I really can't tell you if I notice any differences in the flight patterns. Nothing at all. It's a very windy day, so that affects everything. Whoa, there's a little post there. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get some speed going here. And I'll do some dives. Okay, here we go. We're going up. Up, 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 up. Height, uh, let's get our way up there. 120 meters. There we go, let's dive down. Coming down, coming down. Wow. And there we go, back up. That should warm up the motors and battery. Try this again. Get up to 120 meters. Wow, climbs pretty fast. All right, and we're gonna go this way to dive down this time. There we go. Got a few dives, that should give me some weird wicked speed. All right, now you're probably wondering how is it with these master screw props for freestyle? I have no idea, but I'll just try a quick little roll here. Nothing exciting. Like I said, I'm in the wind, so I'm getting bounced around quite a bit. Come on back over to me. Coming down. There we go. All right, so you're curious to know the results with the master air screw props. So take a look at my phone screen. It says my height was 168 meters. That's not really true because in my goggles, it said I was like 120, 130 meters. So I never got up to 168. Not unless I popped up really quick and then came back down. Not really sure. It says my max speed, as you can see on the phone, was 145 kilometers per hour. And I will put what that is in miles per hour right up there. And if you look at the top portion, it shows my distance I flew, time elapsed, and average speed was 70. Now let me show you what my readings were using the master air screw props. So here we go. There you go. Look at the phone. It says I went 200 meters in height, but a speed of 162 kilometers per hour. So I was really booting it with the master air screw props. So they do give you more speed and you can see distance it says I flew a longer distance about the same flight time and you know my average speed was about 73 kilometers per hour. So According to my really, really unscientific uh, trials here, with this little GPS module on the back, it shows that the master air screw props will give you a faster flight time. Now, let me point out really quick, if you have this DJI FPV drone and you don't fly in manual mode, say you fly in normal mode and sport mode, 
You probably won't see much of an improvement because in normal mode and sport mode, GPS is on and any drone, like a camera drone, GPS drone, when they're under GPS satellite uh, positioning system, they don't fly very fast and they don't fly in the same manner. So you really are restricted to what the drone says you're allowed to fly. So in other words, normal mode has a max speed, sport mode has a max speed. You can't exceed that even if you are like uh, put on the most amazing props in the world. But in manual mode, there are zero restrictions. You can go as fast as you want, do whatever you want. So that's when you get the speed, everything else. Hope that sums it up. Links are below to this product here, Master Air Screw. Uh, you can check them out. They're not too expensive. I think they run about 16 bucks for four. Okay, so they're, maybe they're a little bit pricey because if you break one, you need another one. So you're gonna have to buy some more. But most people probably buy two sets in two different colors so that you're okay for that. But hey, I like them. I'll leave them on. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have questions on the product, just post it below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos with many more cool little reviews like this. Bye.